Henri Cartier-Bresson Cartier-Bresson regarded Le Hut as his teacher of photography without a camera. Although Cartier-Bresson became frustrated with Le Hut's rule-laden approach to art, the rigorous theoretical training later helped him identify and resolve problems of artistic form and composition in photography. Cartier-Bresson met American expatriate Harry Crosby at Le Burguet, who persuaded the commandant to release Cartier-Bresson into his custody for a few days. 163 Crosby later said Cartier Bresson looked like a fledgling, shy and frail, and mild as way. Embracing the open sexuality offered by Crosby and his wife Caress, Cartier Bresson fell into an intense sexual relationship with her that lasted until 1931. In 1934, Cartier Bresson met a young Polish intellectual, a photographer named David Simin who was called Chim because his name was difficult to pronounce. Through Chim, Cartier-Bresson met a Hungarian photographer named Endra Friedman, who later changed his name to Robert Kappa. The show debuted in 1947 together with the publication of his first book, The Photographs of Henry Cartier-Bresson. Cartier-Bresson did not like to be photographed and treasured his privacy. In a Charlie Rose interview in 2000, Cartier-Bresson noted that it wasn't necessarily that he hated to be photographed, but it was that he was embarrassed by the notion of being photographed for being famous. No longer bound by a 4.5 press camera or a medium format twin lens reflex camera, miniature format cameras gave Cartier Bresson what he called the velvet hand, the hawk's eye. He never photographed with flash, a practice he saw as impolite, like coming to a concert with a pistol in your hand. He believed in composing his photographs in the viewfinder, not in the darkroom. 1969, Quebec vu par Cartier Bresson forward slash Le Quebec as seen by Cartier Bresson. 35B 5537BCD 61, 